This bow is matched at 67 kilos. Firstly, introducing from the red corner, Rezka Cheskleezy. Reska Chest Cleasy from Arena Training Center. Now introducing your fighter in the blue corner from V Team Petridis. This fighter has a record of five fights, four wins and one loss. Please welcome Dillian Nuhu. Wanna see you come in the middle of the dance floor. It's going to be very interesting here. We're changing the rules of the game for this fight. Jumping up in the kilos. It's the last of our K1 fights. Two very tall guys with their weight class. All right, and two very long fighters for the weight class coming in. Both kind of find like, oh, nice long kick. I figure we're going to see a lot of high kicks in this fight. The blue corner covering up, took a couple of low kicks. Superman punch from the red corner, trying to explode in. Ooh, directly down the middle with the jab. Ooh, that body kick was hard. Nice hook. Yeah, big weight this. 67 kilos. Two very tall 67 kilo fighters. Yeah, I always like watching this weight group though because they have that great mixture of speed and power. Yeah, it's right up there, right before you lose that heavy knockout power and right before it gets a little too slow. Still sticking to fast-paced cardio. I really enjoy the high kick game of the blue corner. Yeah, he's got long, long legs. Making use of them. Ooh, jumping knee, big hook inside. I wonder if we're going to see anybody check low kicks today. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to see anyone walk tomorrow. <laughs> That's guaranteed not going to happen. <laughs> I'll fight all these guys, but only tomorrow after the low <laughs> kick. Ooh, nice right straight down the middle. Ooh. And now he's trying to chop down the tree. That's the one. He got a little mouse under his eye, but it's not stopping him. The momentum is definitely switching in this fight. Yep, again, chopping that lead leg. Inside. Slowing the man down. Ooh, nice one, too. In and out, nice movement. And there's a leg kick check. 
<laughs> it happened. It came. <laughs> it came. It was. It was a matter of time. At some point. And now we're getting in. Nice crisp combination. Using double, triple left hands with right low kicks. You can see that the level is just jumping up and up every fight. Nice step in on that kick just to cover the distance and uh, make the range on the taller man. You could see that the red corner figured it out. In the beginning, he was having a little bit of uh, trouble getting in, but now he's... Yeah, last 10 seconds there. I think blue corner thought that was the end of the fight. Yeah. End of the round. Don't stop. <laughs> hey, just keep fighting till the ref pulls you apart. He's getting a warning from the ref now. Yeah, a little bit of frustration there showing uh, from the man in the red corner, from Rezka. Often a bit of a negative sign. When you lose your cool, you lose the fight generally. Yeah, it, you know, being angry really doesn't help against a skilled opponent. No, it's all about controlled and focused aggression. Let's see how this round goes here. It's gonna be a really interesting fight. And let's go. Inside low kick to start off. And red corner working to the leg there, slowing down the, the taller man, but does have to leap in on those shots to make range. That was a good landing kick there. Yeah, he, he seems like he's getting it out pretty well. He's using good movement. Staying up against the ropes, a bad idea. That knee landed because of it. Before he was really using that low kick to close the distance, you know? Uh, I think he needs to get back to that. Stick to what's working. If it's not broke, don't fix it. That's true, very true. Oh. Lovely combination there, unanswered. And that's what was working for him. Nice hand combinations, ending with a kick or starting with a kick and entering with the hand combinations. Closing the distance. He needs to get right back to that. Oh, nice. Yeah, working through and chopping the inside of the back leg there. You guys are both fighting like pros. The ref does not want to stop the fight to let them wipe their feet. Nice little body shot landing there from Rezka. Again, it's a K1 bout, so it's no use to sit back and try and pick your score on the body kicks as you might in Muay Thai. It's, uh, you need to be racking up the points and being busy. Yeah, K1's all about speed and aggressiveness. You've seen it plenty of times where the guy that's landing those far away body kicks, they don't give him the round. It's not like in boxing or even in Muay Thai. The counter fighters don't always win. Oh, Ooh. nice right hand. Big shot. Blue corner needs to stop turning away there when he decides he's slipping. He's in a fight. He needs to keep fighting. Yeah. Otherwise, he could be in danger. Yeah, he jumped. He just saw the red corner jump with a Superman punch, hook, leg kick combination. The confidence is raising. He landed up. Oh. Yeah, some nice work being done there. He's blinking a lot. I uh, don't know if that shot in the eyes. Messed his vision up a little bit, but he is working and very busy in this fight. The blue corner needs to fight like a tall fighter. Get the teeps out, get the jabs, step in with the knees. Yeah, work the one, two down the middle. Exactly. Use your range. If you're that height, you need to use it. Yeah, I mean, there's no point of being tall if you're going to try to throw a hook to the shorter fighter. You're letting him get inside on you. Yeah, Rezka. Doing a better job here for me, but I'm not a judge. I am definitely not a judge. I've been wrong. Oh, and the confidence of Reska is rising. You see him raise the hand and throw the jab. Again, oh, chopping that, that leg. That leg kick hurt. He winced in pain. Yeah, look, you can see that's damaged him. Look at Reska in the corner. It's often you see the difference in uh, the mentality of each fighter in between rounds. 
And you can see him just turning and dancing to the crowd there. It says a lot about how he's feeling mentally. Physically, you know, he probably feels, and uh, I happen to agree that he got his fight. You know, if he keeps up like this, it's going to be his fight. He saw him win some pain after that leg kick. He sees blood, he smells it, and uh, I think he's going to attack. Let's go, third and final round, they embrace. Good sportsmanship, and now they will smash each other. <laughs> yep. Ooh, nice comp. Where was Ooh. this from Blue Corner before? Yeah, he, he's coming forward. A little slip on the floor there. He seems like he's a, he woke up. He woke, he woke up the sleeping giant, no pun intended. <laughs> Reska just working those big oh, hands again. Big that hand. overhand right, lovely. Straight down the middle, it's going right through the guard. They are just trading bombs at this point. Big Ooh. knee there from the taller man though. But he gets countered straight with a left hook. Yeah. It's like Reza will not let him score without him getting one point back. Oh, oh what a Superman punch. That just almost took his head off. Yeah. What a chin on these fighters tonight. I have seen some heavy, heavy shots, and they just take it and keep coming forward. I love, even when a fighter's winning into the third round so far, they just keep coming. They keep bringing the action. There's no stalling, no running around the last round. Yeah, Blue Corner just timing those knees a bit more now. Uh, Dillian there. Don't know why he didn't do that earlier. But it's not enough. It looks a bit to me like too little too late. Reska is on a mission. Yeah, Reska, Reska th feels like he got the recipe. And when you feel like that as a fighter, that's, uh, that's no. always a secret to success. When you feel like you know the guy's points. That's it. And the taller man just seems to not have any sting in his shots anymore. I think he's got to that point now. Fatigue. Fatigue. I'm sure he's hurt from some of those Superman punches. The leg kick was definitely damaging him. His leg is red. Oh, another brutal low kick. Yeah, shots coming in here from Red Corner are vicious to say the least. Very intelligent there. Just grab and hold so he doesn't get caught with the knee. It is K1, the referee will break you. He's fighting like a veteran, very smart, staying out, clinching, and now he's getting all the way in. He's not even giving a chance for those knees to come through. Straight in and grappling with his opponent. Oh, that oh, was Look at that damaging. leg go. And he turns and switches southpaw, but you can see it's not natural for him. That's a dangerous sign there. Yeah, only 10 seconds left. But I, I definitely feel the red corner has done much more damage and a low blow right before the fight ends. I think that's gonna be the end of the round anyway. We were into the last 10 seconds. I think when the time starts, this fight will be over. Ah. Here we go, what a great fight. Great fight. I feel like we got a clear winner in this fight. Uh, I, really, I really liked it. I really liked how these guys came in. Reza really threw a lot of nice low kicks, chopped the bigger man down. He took the first minute, minute and a half of the first round to find the distance, and once he did, he was in and out, looking like a pure professional. In the red corner, Well-deserved win. Well-deserved win. What a great fight, and what a great night. And imagine, we haven't even started with Muay Thai action yet. We are straight K1 fight so far, and now we're about to get into Muay Thai. 
It's only going to get better than this. 